okay? That Thursday night, I was at El Centro. I was taking my final. Um, usually, I get out at 8.30 in that day. I got out a little bit later. As I was finishing up and as we were going downstairs, my professor and my other classmate and I, we head down and that's when the elevator opens and the first thing, after hearing the gunshots, we thought that we're going outside. The first thing that we see is the police were inside already and we, by gunpoint, we get told that we have to exit the building. As we're exiting, we see the door is completely shattered. There's glass everywhere. There's wood broken. All the front doors are pretty much gone. As we're stepping outside and moving to the corner, that's when we see how serious the situation was. The SWAT team was there. There was helicopters. The ambulance was arriving. There was literally cops on every corner of the street. And we had realized that our school, that's where the shooter had gone. He was at the second floor as we were going down. We were in the eighth at that time. When you're in a situation like that, you don't know if you're gonna end up on the news as one of the people that either get accidentally hurt through all of it. So my thoughts were just hopefully to make it out okay. Um, I trusted that the officers had the best control of the situation, but um, like I said, all around us at that point, everybody started calling their family members and in every single conversation you would hear, if anything happens, I love you. If anything happens, I love you. Um, I guess you, it kind of hits you what's going on in this position at this time. and. Um, the, the seriousness of it. Um, no, I didn't sleep at all, no, I didn't. Um, eventually, talking about it with my other classmates that were there helped, but that first night, it was just so much and it was so fast that you can't sleep. 